Hello everybody, uh, I am back today, um, and the last video was converting numbers to words, and with a dictionaries, this time I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing, but with lists, alright, I don't know what I did, I'm just going to, alright, so let's create a new python file, and let's call it a word list and we'll do the same exact thing for the start of it so I can go back to the word and I can go like this I'm gonna control cop control C and then like that and instead of this I'm just going to call it number because I figured it oh my gosh um, yeah I'm just gonna call it number because Integer just I don't know. It's easier for just to be number So that's gonna be the exact same and now it's gonna start being different. So instead of using dictionaries. I'm gonna use lists So for example, I'm gonna go like ones equals like that one So you don't have to keep typing the keys over and over again. It gets super and it gets annoying, but so this is all you have to do go like this and I will stop when I'm done all right, so those are the ones, just a simple list. Now I'll I will do the teens. So those are the teens, uh, pretty straightforward. Now I will move on to the decades. All right, for so for the decades, I actually need to include a an extra one right here, just because instead of using dictionaries with uh, going to the index by using the keys. I'm going to do a uh, splicing of strings. I think that's what it's called. Where um, this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, so on. And so you you have to include one right there, or else it will kind of not work. So I'll move on to the hundreds, and yep. Yeah. So those are the hundreds. Now I'll go to the <clears throat> the last one, the comma, the comma word, and that will just be like before, um, except this time we don't have to do the three and six and stuff. We can just do, um, let's see, yeah, thousand, million, billion, and I think a uh, trillion should be good for now and so now we'll do the exact same thing before word equals null um, so, and then change equals actually length equals length number change equals length and then we'll call the new one the thing that went from three up, we'll just call it up change equals zero. And yep, we can start the loop now. So we'll do the same exact thing as starting it. We'll while change is greater than zero. Um uh I might be able to copy paste from the other one, just a few parts. So I could probably copy paste um, here and here. Mm, that would get kind of weird. So I'm just gonna do it all from scratch. Um, all right. So while change is greater than zero, if number equals zero, word equal. Oh, you need two. So word equals zero. Break. So that's just saying if the if the user typed in zero by itself, then it can just end the program, and there will be no errors. Else if, um, so else if change is greater than one, and number change minus two. 
one. That's saying if the middle number, for example, 312, if the middle number is a one, we need to check for the teens. So, yeah. All right, so um, we can do four i in range, zero, 10, if number change minus one equals string i word equals one's i plus word and what's that what that's doing is it's going through the teens up here and it's just adding whatever is necessary so let's say it's 312 First, it tests whether the middle number is a one by saying if the number of the change minus two equals one, then it checks whatever this is and it just inserts one of these. All right. So we can just go else. And right here, I could create a for loop, but that would be hard. So I'm just going to do it normally. First, I'm going to test the ones. So for i in range 0, 10. This is pretty much going to be the same exact thing as the other ones, but as the one right here, as the little block. So I can probably copy paste some more. For in range 0 to 10, if number chain this one equals string i word equals oh wait wait up here this should be teens my bad so word equals ones i plus a word that's just adding whatever one in here to the uh, like if it's three twenty three, it's adding a three. It's pretty simple. I don't really know how to explain it. So now I have to do if change is greater than one. Um. Now I'm gonna test the the decades. So I can do I can just copy this. And instead of having number change minus one, I'll do change minus two. And instead of ones, I'll do decades. So, yeah. And then once we do that, we can copy paste this right here. And actually, I'll undo that. I need to do if change is greater than two. Now I can copy paste. And change this to three, change this to hundreds, and that will make it, now I'll test the hundreds, so it will insert 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, wherever it is. And now for the final thing, the comma word, uh, what we'll do here is, all right, this is a bit harder. This actually, shouldn't be too hard. I'll do word equals comma word pl plus word. Oh, I see. So what I have to do, I f almost forgot, if change is greater than three, and I do that because uh, if it's if it's lower than three, then that means um, it's not in the thousands. So if there is no thousands, let's say 348, uh, that would mean the uh, num the word would be expressed as 1,343 or whatever it was, and you shouldn't have that thousand there. And at the end, uh, change equals change plus three, no, yes, no minus three, minus three, and then up change plus equals one, 
print word. And that should be it. It was a bit um, fast today. I didn't really explain much, but definitely look at my other video. I go in depth in that one. And it's the same concept. So let's do it. Type an integer here. I can change this to number. Type a number here. And then run again. So let's do five. 589,273. Oh no. Alright, so let's debug. Line 42, word equals comma word plus word. So comma word, comma word, oh, comma word, up change. That should fix it. So uh, 567,823. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3. So, yep, it works. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.